What's popping up, right, fam? All right, Bob checking in here. And today we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute the notification game, hitting that like button before the video even starts. Y'all the real art right, fam. Salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy Chris Brown and Big Soldier. Hey, Big Soldier in the building. Hey, Chris, you done fucked up, nigga. Don't make me expose you, nigga. I swear to God, I'm having 150 shooters in Atlanta, nigga. Damn the address, nigga. They say from the hood. I know y'all tired of hearing about this Chris Brown versus Soldier Boy situation because I'm tired of reporting about it, man. But I'm back interested in it. Now we've seen the footage of both of these guys. Now, this sparked my interest back into the fight because at first I was like, man, this is going to be like a club type fight. Both of these dudes just throwing hands all over the place. But Asia Broner spoke out and said, both of these guys ain't no punk. And that boy Chris Brown know what he's doing. He got crazy hands. Ain't, listen, ain't neither one of them. Ain't none of them bitches ass niggas. They ain't of course. one of them. Mm -hmm. But. When it come to like 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 real hands, mm -hmm. like hands on Chris, Chris Brown can fight for real. Really? Yeah. Andre Berto said the same thing. No, no, no he listen. can't. For real? Don't say nothing. It's just yeah, because we don't know if the contract signed or not. We spent perfectly time with both of them. Really? Listen, mm -hmm. listen bro. breezy. He can go. Really? <laughs> now, Adrian Broner said the contract is a sign, and Mayweather said he got to sit down and negotiate with Chris Brown as well. Check this out. I've been talking with Soldier Boy, and I look forward to sitting down with Chris Brown and um, talking with Chris Brown and see what we can come up with. You always talk about thinking outside of the box. Is, is, is this kind of an example yes, of that? Absolutely, you know. Uh, absolutely. I don't know how uh, Mayweather Promotions got put into it, but we're happy. <laughs> First order of business, make sure y'all go subscribe to Fight Hype. Video credit goes to them. They got a lot of things over there dealing with boxing, behind the scenes, interviews, all type of stuff. It's a great channel. Go subscribe to them. If you were to negotiate for Chris Brown, how much would you ask Mayweather for to box Soldier Boy? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what do you think about Adrian Brown in the comments. Does this make you change your pick for the fight? Let me know in the comments down below. Up next, we got 21 Savage. Fuck you niggas, nigga. Straight up, nigga. Fuck all y'all faggot ass niggas. Ah, yeah, niggas don't die, niggas. Now, as of recent, when we mentioned 21 Savage's name, we think about when he said he not boxing, he got the choppers. We ain't talking about how they boxing, man. We walk around with choppers and shit, man. Hey. We ain't boxing on motherfucking niggas, man. Stop that and shit. Like I said earlier, his fans agree that he shouldn't box for his name, and that 21 is deeper than rap. It means way more than rap to him. Now, 21 Savage got some good news today. No heart went certified platinum. I'm sure he's going to stay focused and focus on his grind. He on tour right now doing his thing. And he putting his folks in position to get bread also. So, salute to 21 Savage. Up next, we got Meat Mill. Now, Meat Mill took a fall at his mom crib, bro. Check this out. They spoke a L into existence. Leaving at my mom's house was tragic for me. I see ass steps. You fall, get right back up. I ran, I thought a ghost pushed me. I might sue Yeezy. Since y'all want to see me fall so bad, it's good to see Meat Mill not taking social media too serious. Now, a few years ago, if this would have happened, Meat Mill would have got on social media. Man, I got more money than y'all. Y'all niggas ain't getting bread while y'all laughing at me. But Meat Mill is learning to embrace the L's and have fun with social media. That's what social media is all about, not taking yourself too serious. That's what people want to see for you, man. Get in the booth and drop some heat, bro. So salute to you. As always, we're going to end off on a good note. I got footage of Yada going back to his old crib and his old job. So salute to him on his growth. Also, let me know this. Where do the hate from Yada stem from? I see a lot of y'all going crazy on him in the comment section. Anytime I post anything about him, let me know in the comment section down below. Where do the hate from Yada stem from? Anyway, I'm about to be out of here. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Press that sub button. Also, press that bell beside it so you get a notification anytime I drop a video. Follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Follow me on IG at RelatableAllBall. Salute to y'all, man. 100K grind. All right, ball. Go. I really want to do something while I'm on this side of town. I don't know how to fuck with this side of town. It's so hard, bro. I'm going to pull up on somebody or something. I don't even fucking know.
And now I'm pulling up at the McDonald's. I used to work at, bro. I used to work here, bro. Ah, dad, I used to work here, bro. Ah, I used to work here, bro. And I'm out here in my old neighborhood, man. In my old house, man. My first house I ever lived in, man. Crazy, man. I'm sitting here, man, outside of my old house that I lived in my whole life, man. Seeing my old neighbors can grab me and shit. As I pull out of my driveway, this shit just crazy. up and, you know, once in a lifetime thought this shit would happen to me, you feel me? I thought, well, I really got scared thinking I was gonna live with my mom in this house my whole life, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now I moved my mom's, you know what I'm saying, to, a, to a, a new house. I got my own crib, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's